now. Welcome everybody. It is so exciting uh, to be coming together for this hands-on uh, mosaic candle holder making project. Um, what is part of the community's Yom Ha'atzma'ut events through the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island and also uh, what really kicks off the first ever virtual educational weekend through Temple Emmanuel. Um, this, later this week, we will be hosting Dr. Jody Magnus, um, a world-renowned archeologist of Israel, who among other things is going to be sharing her findings of a fifth century mosaic in a synagogue in the north of Israel, hence the mosaic candle holders that we are going to be making. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that connection later on. Um, Educational Weekend is a massive endeavor, and so I want to give a huge thanks to our two co-chairs of the weekend, uh, to Toby Leibowitz and to Leslie Marks Hershey. If you guys can give a wave, everyone can see you on here. Um, normally I'd ask you, you know, you stand up and give you applause. It's Zoom. Um, but uh, we're so grateful for all the work that you have put into tonight's uh, event and also to all of the events coming up later this week. And I'd actually like to pass things over to Leslie to introduce our artist um, who will be leading us through the rest of this evening. So Leslie, you can unmute yourself and take it away. Hi, everybody. Um, tonight, um, Nancy Katz, is our artist in residence. Um, she's an artist and art educator who's currently responsible for the Alliance's Jewish Roots Project that can be seen at the JCC. Um, in the late 80s, she was director of education and outreach for the Names AIDS Project Memorial Quilt. Lucky for us in the fall of 19, just prior to the outbreak of COVID, Nancy and her husband, Mark Leibowitz, moved to Providence. They currently share a studio in Pawtucket and they're members of Temple Emanuel. Fortunately for our community at large, Nancy was willing to pivot to online programming, recognizing that um, it's really important for us to do things that are hands-on and to do it as a community. And this um, candle holder project that we're doing tonight will allow us to light candles during the weekend um, when we're learning more about mosaics from Dr. Jody Magnus. And I'm going to turn it over to Nancy. Thank you. Nancy, you're muted. There we go. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm screen sharing right now. And I'm going to start with this. Now you can hear me. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. So as was pointed out, this was a collaborative venture between the um, Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island and Temple Emanuel um, with uh, and Hopefully everyone has received, well, in this crowd has received their boxes. And for those of you who are watching this later, you'll have your boxes and here we go. Um, one of the things that's really important to me is the concept of Hidora Mitzvah, uh, which comes, we, it's the, the um, idea of beautifying um, a mitzvah. And it comes from the text from the, the Song of the Sea, which we just focused on during um, Pesach, um, and the line, Ze Eli Ba'anvehu. This learning this teaching decades ago was really significant to me when my dear friend um, and teacher, um, Rabbi Hanan Feld, pointed out that this text, Ze Eli Ba'anvehu, which gets translated, This is my God, I will glorify and I will glorify God. Um, um, you take out the bit on vehu and I, it, can, it can be read as ani vehu, me and him, me and God. And that was very, very powerful and profound to me in this idea that 
we work together uh, with God to um, create beauty. So, so here we are. The, so the mitzvah of lighting candles is, is a familiar one that we experience weekly and for holidays. And um, the mitzvah itself is lighting the candles. And some of us have inherited um, and used for decades um, uh, candlesticks that belong to someone else and got passed to us at somewhere along the way. And I know there was even some question, why would adults want to make um, candle holders? Because we have this, you know, we got them going on. Um, there are a couple of things. One is just the, is having something more contemporary. These are, are uh, ones I found online. I have no attachment to, to these at all, but it's one thing to use beautiful ones that are personal. And then the idea of taking something um, and, and creating it for ourselves is a very powerful thing to do. And the idea that we could take these in and we all get the same um, components to put them all together and they become our very own. And the idea, I was very moved by when I first was invited to do this, the idea that we create these as individual households around the same time this week with the intention that this Shabbat and beyond, we can light these, perhaps additionally to others that we do more regularly. So um, as was uh, mentioned, this is the idea of this was to make the connection between the mosaics that are uh, that we'll learn more about this weekend or that we can learn more about from um, Dr. Um, Jody Magnus. And I thought it was real important to, um, to do this partially to just recognize that these little tiles that you have in, in the bags um, are probably about the size of the little tiles that, that make up the artwork that, um, that Jody studies and that we'll be seeing. And I think that a lot of times we look at um, at artwork that we're not, and we have no idea how it's created. And we just imagine that, oh, somebody made this, but, but I, I could never do that or whatnot. Actually, my husband has been fabricating stained glass windows for uh, 40 plus years. And um, today we went into the home of, of someone who has some beautiful stained glass and need, they need to have an additional window made. We went into their home and saw what was there and then they came to our studio and looked at glass um, there and we showed them what the process was about. They had no idea what's really involved and I think that a lot of times it's some phantom experience. And so what, one of the reasons why this is important is not only do we walk away from today, from tonight's activity with a beautiful set that of, of candle holders that you can be proud of, but you'll also gain insight into what it is that you'll be learning about, we'll be learning about um, next weekend, and when you see other mosaics in the future. So that's an important thing. So in the box, everybody should have, um, unless I blew it, um, <laughs> some gla the glass holders, two glass holders, um, tea lights, a bag of mosaic tiles, and a container that has um, tile adhesive and some sticks. And that's all we're going to need. In addition, you'll need a clear, clean spot for yourself in your supplies, which it appears that most of you have already done. Um, you want to cover your tabletop with paper to protect it and grab a damp paper cloth or paper towel if you haven't done that already. But, um, and you can spread them out and get them ready and take a deep breath. But, what, but before we work on our candle holders, we're gonna take a few minutes. Um, how many of us are on this call? We have 17 devices representing probably about 20 or 25 people because there's okay. some the device. So do you, what do you think, uh, Rabbi? Should we divide up into a couple groups to we'll talk five about? Groups. Uh, okay, and you'll do that. So before we work on our candle holders, we'll take a few minutes in the group, small groups. 
uh, we'll take about seven minutes, let's say, um, to briefly share a thought, feeling, or memory about candle lighting and any special candle holders or other ritual objects that are in your life. Okay, so our technical director is going to break up the, uh, the groups. Mm -hmm. And we can do that. And, and we'll call you back in in about seven minutes. Do you want to repeat the prompt one more time? Okay, the prompt is to share any experiences or special feelings or about candle lighting and or objects, candle holders, um, or other ritual objects that are meaningful. And just the idea of having special ritual objects. I'm going to stop the share right now. All right, and we have how many minutes did you want? Seven. All right, here we go. Thanks. See you soon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna join. <laughs> All right, I am. Um... Is Lex at a group? Uh, um, Lex, Lex, I don't know if you're there. You've been assigned to a group. If you'd like to join, you're welcome to. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So you going or are you staying? Um. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, uh yeah we 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 it was roberta lynn and myself and um i don't i didn't know lynn very well and now i feel like we're kindred spirits all right, <laughs> all right. and roberta i already am so it's okay <laughs> okay good so is, is this everybody back? I can't tell. I think so. We're up to 16 now. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share the screen again. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Okay. Am I, am I sharing this? Okay. Yes, we can see so, but, yeah, there we go. So before we start doing a creative project, it seems to make sense to do a blessing. Um, and I love a volunteer to, to read the blessing. Um, we can read them ourselves or Rabbi, Rabbi Zaren, why don't you read it? If you would, this is from the Jewish Studio Project out of Berkeley. Um, and I just think it's really beautiful to acknowledge. So please. Thank you. Baruch atah adonai makor hachayim shabara otanu betalmo. Umizamin Otanu Lechadish Beho Yom Tamid Maase Bereshit. Baruch Ata Adonai Yotzer Yitzirim. Blessed are you, source of life who created us in your image and invites us to renew daily the works of creation. Blessed are you who created us creative. Amen. So what we're gonna do is slowly, slowly, and I say slowly, slowly, I'll, I'll show you why. Um, with one holder, one side at a time there, we made the decision to use get these, these um, square holders rather than round ones so that you could use them, put them down one at a time um, to adhere the tiles to the outside. And we'll have, I'll play some Israeli music and the intention is to enjoy your time. A little bit of the, um, the adhesive in here goes a long way. And, um, and don't forget to breathe. Then I'm gonna stop sharing and, and show you a little bit more what I'm talking about here. Okay, so the, if you look at the screen that says Mark Leibowitz, as you can see, let's see, can we pin that one? Yes, I'm gonna pin it. Okay, so I, um, the other day I was talking, I was on a Zoom call and I, without focusing my attention on the mosaic, I started to, to put a little bit of this adhesive using the stick, put the, put some on here, 
on the side, on the rippled side, not the flat side. Just I put some on and I really wasn't paying it that much attention and I put too much on. So it blobbed and then it dried and it's harder. Once the adhesive is on the glass, it's pretty solid if it stays there, sorry, stays there for a while. So in a little bit goes a long way. So the best way to do this is put a little bit of adhesive on the rippled side, just a little bit, a little dabadoola, do you like the 